And because of that cold, yeah, we are under a storm watch weather alert tonight. Let's bring in Jacob Wyckoff now, talk a little bit about a cold snap that you know, is really not going to be going away anytime soon. No, it's it's just rebounding slightly as we go in. Very slightly. <laughs> and then we're going to go back downhill, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, so we have a lot to talk about in the weather department. But, uh, yeah, today was uh, a bit of snow in some areas and still cold, too. Uh, temperatures uh, this afternoon only got into the mid to upper teens. Uh, so let's talk about the snow first. Some areas picking up one to two inches. I saw the highest totals were on the Cape, the islands, where they picked up uh, anywhere from a inch and a half to maybe two inches. That doesn't seem like a lot, but it was certainly enough to cause issues on the roadways. I took the Mass Pike into work. The roadways were certainly covered and slushy and people maybe not uh, driving as they should have. And fortunately for us, the snow is pushing out, clearing us out. It will be a bright night, however, with the moon almost full uh, this evening and clearing skies. You can almost see the way the wind's blowing in off the Great Lakes. Big dip in the jet stream is allowing cold air to once again pull right over New England and we're expecting another stretch of cold days behind the storm system that brought us just a little bit of snow. We have more cold yet to come as we ring in 2018 and we call it historical cold. Now I know that we're a tough bunch here in New England where we know how to deal with the cold but this is an historic stretch of days. In fact we're uh, already at four days at or below 20 degrees for highs. Now when I look over some past records January 1918, we hit seven days in a row of at or below 24 hour highs. I think we're going to be able to tie that as we go into the next three days as we ring in 2018. So it is historic for us to be in a stretch of cold weather for this length of time. So uh, certainly uh, not something you want to do as we uh, go into the new year. 13 currently in Boston, 9 in Worcester, 13 in Plymouth. Much colder as you go out into Western Mass. They're at four below. Uh, and you can see where all the cold air is. Look at Pickle Lake, 25 below. Not the best vacation spot this time of year. Pickle Lake at 25 below. Uh, temperatures tonight falling to the single digits. Near zero in the suburbs with wind chills 0 to 10 below. Wind chills will be a factor heading into tomorrow too. Stiff northwest wind will bring these feels like these air temperatures to closer to like zero uh, as you go into the afternoon. Six for an afternoon high in Worcester and 13 in Boston. For the game day, it should be about the second coldest home game in Pat's history. Wind chills below zero, air temperature right about 14 degrees. And look at some of these wind chill factors for your first night celebrations. Boston dropping the ball at 12 below, 8 below in Bedford, 16 below in Worcester. Not improving much as you go into Monday afternoon. Still well below zero for those wind chills. And then we turn our attention to the middle and end of the week where we have a coastal system that could bring us a chance of some snow showers. Now we're still about five days away so something we'll be watching very very closely but it is worth mentioning and we do have that in the WBZ seven day forecast. A chance of snow showers as you go into Thursday and I'll also point your attention Wednesday and Thursday we actually have uh, a nice warm up, almost tropical warm up Wednesday and Thursday, but we ride the roller coaster back down Friday and Saturday back into the mid to low teens. Uh, so we're just continuing to see this cold air stick around, unfortunately, and I think it's going to stick around till the middle of January. Ken, back to you. <laughs> oh, there's a long range forecast. All right, <laughs> Jacob, thanks.